nicely done. He is just reeling from that offense. Honestly, I'm guessing everyone else can smell chum in the water at this point. say that this rivalry between Lesnar and McIntyre is rooted in Lesnar's lack of respect for WWE competitors. His hubris to just take anything he wants without due course. It is that kind of attitude that has drawn the ire of Drew McIntyre. It has put the Scottish warrior on a warpath towards Lesnar. It's the years of personal turmoil and self-discovery that equipped Drew with the courage to traverse that warpath. McIntyre's held the trophy of a slain beast before. Will Drew repeat that success tonight? Here is your winner, Drew McIntyre. We talk about the power and dominance of both these superstars a lot, but tonight, Drew McIntyre has proven he is a cut above Brock Lesnar. That is not a statement made lightly, Cole, but you are correct. McIntyre proved that the fire in his gut is bigger and hotter than Lesnar's. Here is your winner, Brock Lesnar. In a destructive display of power, Brock Lesnar has triumphed over Drew McIntyre. Lesnar was able to absorb everything McIntyre threw at him and deliver it right back. If this is what he can do to Drew McIntyre, I can't imagine what Brock would do to a lesser man. It's sending chills down my spine just thinking about it. Drew McIntyre, Randy Orton, the clashes these two titans have had over the WWE titles have been the stuff of legend. Two alphas vying to be at the top, willing to go to the ends of the earth to do so. Yeah, McIntyre and Orton are both willing to do whatever it takes to be the better man, and tonight should be no different. Picking up steam, here we go. Waiting, waiting. Is somebody going to do anything? Well, this match is completely stopped. I'm going to catch a flight in the morning. I mean, I'd like to call this match first, but at this rate. So again, we are waiting patiently for someone to do something. And waiting. Are these guys going to engage with one another or just stand here like set dressing? Is anybody going to hit somebody, please? I hope something happens soon. I'm going to take a nap. 
I wonder if they're as bored as I am. Well, these two were scheduled for a match. We thought they wanted to tear each other limb from limb, but at this point, there's just a whole lot of staring and mean faces happening. I, I'm kind of over it. At this rate, I might have time to run to the concession stand. Bring me back some nachos. Hey, Cole, can we go home? Yeah, go ahead. Neither of these two has done much of anything recently. What's going on here? You think about all the trash talking between these superstars over the last couple of weeks, and this, this is the result? This match has slowed beyond a crawl. Are these two going to do anything? I don't know. This is one of the strangest things I've ever seen. I don't know what to make of this guy. He's been walking around backstage for weeks, introducing himself and shaking everybody's hand. I've met him like four times now. Oh, well, Corey, it just means he has good manners. Now, the problem with all this, Corey, is you met him in that just alternative universe because in 2009, you weren't actually even in the WWE locker room. That's true. That's accurate. This all took place in my imagination. He hasn't been in the WWE for a year, but he's already still on the show every week. A former WCW cruiserweight and United States champion, a man who has held the ECW television title, and above all, Eddie Guerrero doesn't care if he's liked. He's not sure if he ever will care. Eddie Guerrero always sporting that cocky look on his face, but to Guerrero's credit, he always backs it up inside the ring. He may be a cruiserweight, but he can take on anyone. One of the premier up-and-coming cruiserweights. And a multi-time WCW cruiserweight champion. Remember the time he put his mask on the line against Eddie Guerrero and won? Rey Mysterio Jr. proved he was willing to bet on himself and succeeded in the process. Each time this man steps in the ring, he leaves the audience jaws on the floor. You gotta love an underdog story like Rey Mysterio's. It sounds nice, but I wouldn't know. I've never been an underdog in my life. But he didn't care then what people thought, and he shouldn't care now either. Either way, Michaels is looking to straighten things out right now. And through an iconic mask, he has Rey Mysterio's eyes piercing at him. Rey has shown no hesitation, taking on a new era of WWE superstars. No hesitation to testing his own limits. There's always a lesson that can be learned when you go up against a veteran like Mysterio, so everyone should be taking notes.